My son has a ton of soccer jerseys and they always charge an extra fee to put a name on the back of them. So I ended up buying the Sportsplex iron-on uh, product from Cricut to put a name on the back of the jersey so we didn't get charged money to do it. So all I did was pick a font that I thought looked a lot, a lot like one that would go on the back of a jersey. And of course I printed it. The one um, when weeding it, I realized that the material has a very nice stretch to it. So it's going to move with the fabric of the jersey, which I like to buy a lot about it. One thing I found is that you definitely need to use the heat resistant tape because the material that comes with the Sportsplex is not sticky like maybe the infusible ink is. So you definitely need something to hold it down on the jersey, otherwise it would move around. So I am using my tape to make sure that it stays in place. And they, um, and then I went ahead and pressed it. It does not need butcher paper in between. And I did put a piece of cardboard in between. Once I uh, finished pressing it, they wanted me to press the other side, but it made me really nervous because there was a decal on the other side. So I turned it inside out so it wouldn't affect the decal on the front of the jersey. And then I pressed it from the inside out. And then I waited till it cooled entirely and I peeled it very slowly off. It does look like it's stretching a lot here, but it actually um, peeled off pretty easy. It didn't, didn't mess up or anything. It had a really strong hold. I just did it really slowly just in case it was not coming going to come off correctly, but everything turned out really nice. I followed the instructions on my heat press and it worked out really well. Here we go. My son's custom soccer jersey with one of his favorite players from the Newcastle team.